The structure of Security Controls in Salesforce is multi-layered. At the highest, most outer layer, we have the org security. This is where we can set things like our trusted IP addresses, our login hours, and our login IP ranges. Just as a recap, our login IP ranges specify IPs that a user can and cannot log in from, whereas a trusted IP range specifies IPs which require or do not require two-factor authentication. Our next level in is object level access. Object level access is set on the profile. The object level access also depends on the license type of the user and includes access to the CRED permissions. <laughs> what is CRED? It's an acronym for create, read, edit, delete. And we can set these for each individual object. The next level in from that is our field level security. Our field level security is also set on the profile and the page layout. Finally, our innermost level is the records. Now, within the record level, there are four subsections. We start with the most restrictive level, and then as we work through the sections, we are gradually opening up access to these particular records. We start with the org-wide defaults. This is where we lock down as much as we can the level of access to records. Next up is roles and role hierarchies. This opens up access to certain records based on the particular role hierarchies of our users. The next one from that is sharing rules. Sharing rules is where we can create groups that will be able to access records that aren't necessarily in a particular role hierarchy. This is great for things like territory management or particular groups that are working on a product together. Finally, our last layer of record access is manual and team sharing. And this is where we can give access to records to specific individual users or based on a team.